Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new knife that I've been checking out for a couple weeks now. This is from a company called Best Tech Man. And if that name sounds familiar, that is because they are actually a, um, a line that was developed by Best Tech great knife brand so they developed the line best tech man because their goal was to bring the um, quality knives into everybody's hands so this is if you could say it is a uh, more affordable line of best tech knives now this is obviously as i mentioned a a line it's a separate line from them we've seen this from other companies um, that have done that where they want to bring in really awesome designs but a more affordable prices to everybody so uh, they reached out and asked if i'd be interested in checking out this new knife um, this video is going up on friday july 28th which is when this knife actually releases to the public so if you guys are interested i will leave a link below to the um, Best Tech Man website. You guys can go ahead and check it out there because I think it is a really awesome option, especially for EDC purposes and also for what you're getting for what you're paying. So again, this is from Best Tech Man. I love the box here, really nice. It's got like this uh, silver sheen to it. I am a sucker for packaging. If you guys are as well, you will really like this. It is a cardboard box, but it looks really, really cool. And it does say camping, hunting, outdoor, lifetime warranty, everyday gear, everyday life, Best Tech Man. And there is the logo right there. So this particular model is the BMK03, and this one is the D. The D actually uh, represents the different color that this one is because this particular knife is actually available in 11 different variants. Um, and then the different variants are denoted by that last letter. So you can get anywhere from A to L. Um, so that's uh, basically what you're gonna do. So this one here is D, and I'll show you guys what that one is. And the name of this guy, if you didn't catch by the title, is the Mini Dundee. A uh, really awesome name. And uh, this one is in D2 with the satin and stonewashed blade. So they are actually all D2. So basically what changes is the color of the blade and the color of the handles and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. Again, um, and it's denoted by that um, letter in the back there. So let's go ahead and open up the box here. I went ahead and packaged everything back up so you guys can see um, what it looks like when you get it. So when you get it, you do get the knife. And then you also get a... Uh, little pamphlet here so that's got your warranty information right there uh, and then uh, it just gives you it says thank you for your choice and then a little bit about them and stuff like that so we'll put this off to the side um, and here is the knife it does come in a plastic bag here and there it is so um, I really like the size of this knife. Again, this is the mini Dundee. Uh, not exactly sure if there is a regular size Dundee, but I prefer smaller size knives as far as my EDC blades go. Um, this is actually my first experience with a Best Tech Man knife. I've got I've had some experience with Best Tech knives. If you guys are interested, I'll link some, some of the reviews that I've done for their knives at the end of this one. Um, but this one feels very nice quality. But again, they're, what they're doing is they're offering it at a more affordable price so that anybody can enjoy um, the knives. But you're not sacrificing on what you're getting, which is really, really awesome. Awesome. So again, this one is the um, BMK03D, and the D denotes that this is the satin stonewash blade with the gray G10 handles. So these are gray G10 handles. Looks really nice. Um, they call it gray, but I would say it's more kind of like a, um, a bluish gray, like a light blue grayish color. Gray would probably be more like my background here, so you guys can see. But again, this is what they're calling the gray color. So taking a look at the uh, side right here, again, G10 handles. You do have their logo right there, which looks really, really awesome on the pivot screw there. Um, on the other side, you do have your pocket clip. I love this pocket clip. It's nice and thin, uh, very easy to carry. It's not completely um, uh, at the very top, which uh, does leave a little bit of the knife sticking out, but that's fine, perfectly enough to be able to grab it and pull it out there. So um, it's fairly deep right clip. You do have the ability to reverse it from left or right, which is nice. And they actually include the screws on the opposite side, which is good because sometimes um, when man knife manufacturers have the ability to flip the screws, they just put the two holes in there and um, you know you might get some lint or something like that in there. So that's really cool that they did include that. Uh, it is obviously a little bit recessed into the handle. So the clip is going to fit 
pretty much flush to the handle, which is really nice. So it's gonna sit really nice and close to um, your pocket. It is a flow through design, as you can see right there. So very easy to clean out if you if you had to. All the um, edges are nice and rounded. So I didn't feel any hot spots with it, obviously in the closed position or on the open position either. And there is the other side of your pivot screw right there. You do have a uh, flipper tab right there. Now, what's really cool is that they've actually kind of milled out the section where the flipper tab is. You guys can make that out. So um, you do have a little bit of jimping on there as well. So your, uh, your finger definitely catches on very nicely there and deploys the blade really, really nice. Now, here it is, um, taking a look at that D2 satin stone wash blade. Really, really nice blade. Very utilitarian shape for majority of EDC tasks. Now, let's uh, talk about some of the measurements here. You have an overall length of 6.89 inches. Uh, this is a handle length of 3.97 inches and then a blade length of 2.92 inches. So a hair under three inch blade, again, really, really awesome blade, especially for majority of EDC tasks. You have this really awesome fuller that runs the top of the blade on both sides there. Um, it is not completely rounded, but I don't feel any type of sharp edges on the top portion right here, which is good. But then you do have a nice run of jimping right at the top there. So if you did have to choke up on the blade to uh, maybe do some push cuts or something like that, you can go ahead and do that. Again, um, handle length is going to be 3.97 inches. So just a hair under four inches, but that is perfect more than enough for my four fingers to wrap around the blade or the handle right there, sorry. And um, again, no sore spots. If I choke up on the blade, if I, you know, bear down on it, I'm not gonna feel any type of sore spots, which is nice because you wouldn't want to on an EDC blade. As far as markings on the blade, you do have the Best Sec Man logo right there. Then on the other side, in the very corner there, you do have D2, and this is an Ostapel design, so that is stamped right there as well. If you guys are familiar with their designs, his designs are really, really awesome. They do a really good job. It collaborates a lot with Best Tech and now with Best Tech Man in the Mini Dundee here. So really, really great EDC option. Again, this came to a perfectly pointy, pointy tip right there, so perfect for piercing. If you need to pierce tape or you know anything like that to cut open, you can go ahead and do that. It is razor, razor sharp, as your knives should be right out of the box. Um, and then it's locked lockup is very, very nice. You do have a liner lock right in there. Um, it locks up very early, but which is good, um, but it's still um, nice and uh, secure. And then you do have some milling cutouts right there, so you can go ahead and access that liner lock without any trouble, as you can see right there. It is not drop shut, but it's smooth enough, and you can deploy it very, very nicely. So I think the, uh, the Mini Dundee is going to be a great option for um, anybody that's trying to get, I'm trying to see if I can reverse flick it. Uh, it's a little difficult. Um, as I mentioned, it's, uh, it's gonna be a great option for anybody that's looking for just a really awesome small EDC blade that's not gonna break the bank. Um, and then the fact that they do have 11 different variants available on this, you know, you're pretty much gonna be able to find one that's gonna fit your EDC, maybe more than one, you know, maybe you wanna pick up a couple of them, have them in different kits and stuff like that. I think that would be a really, really good option. As I mentioned, I'll leave the link to the Best Tech Man website downstairs or down below. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out, um, you know, check out the different variants and stuff like that. It is releasing today, July 28th, which is Friday, 2023. So, you know, obviously by the time you're watching this video, it should be up. So go ahead and check it out because I think you will not be um, disappointed if you go ahead and pick one or a couple of them up for your um, EDC carry or your knife collections. So again, this is the Mini Dundee the, uh, from Best Tech Man. This particular model is the BMK03D as in David with the gray G10 handles and the D2 satin stonewash blade. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.